I'm telling a Yozuri is going to catch a small one. Yeah, I got this. Oh my gosh, hurry and get a live bait, Brian. There's a giant problem. Right here, Brian, here's the big one. He's out front. He's out front. He's out front. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh my gosh. He ate the Yozuri. I got a decent one on the Yozuri. Here, throw right here, Brian. Big one right here. Phew, this feels like deja vu. All right, I was just here like, what, three days ago. Me and Brian went out, had a good trip, but today we picked up a straggler back there. Miss Lisa, that is Brian's wife. She's the one that's always cooking those, that good food. We're gonna head out offshore. We've got super calm weather, and we're gonna see what we can go catch. You know, it should be, should be a good day. We're gonna take you guys along with us. A lot of people were asking in the last video what we were catching those mahi on, and it was this lure right here. This is a glass minnow made by Tsunami. Really awesome, versatile lure for a lot of stuff out here. You see me and Brian throwing it all the time. So many boats going out today, man, now that it's snapper season. You get a Saturday on snapper season. Oh my goodness, man. Every spot out here is gonna be super crowded. <clears throat> There's the boat launch. Lots of people already backing their boats down. All right, guys, we're just pulling up here. We're going to catch us some bait real quick and check out what we're using. We're using this little sabiki rig. It's got one, two, three, six hooks on it. All right, that's the way to catch these fish. And we're just dropping them down to the bottom right here. And uh, we're kind of reading them on the sonar. Bait is super important. Gosh, there are so many boats out here getting bait. Check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. They're not biting that great either. There he is. Feels like a cigar mina here. Nope. Big L-Y. It's all right. That'll be a good bait right here. Look at that, guys. It's a big L-Y. Great little bait. Bait in. There he is. I got a double, a double. Now we have not got the chunk. So I'm going to catch some bigger baits now, and we just spotted a big school of bonita, and I'm going to use this glass minnow for them. Oh, there he is. There he is. No, it's Bonita. Nice. That's going to be a good bait right there. Man, they fight. I could just come out here and catch these and not even worry about going fishing. On the glass minnow, as always. Look there. Wow, what a bait. What a bait. That right there is a, a bait now. We're still out here bait fishing, but of course we came up on a weed line like we always do and uh, just trying to see, see if there's anything on it here. Oh yeah, I'm on, come on, come on. Oh dude, something, oh I'm on, that's a good fish there. Something came out and nailed it. Oh, it's a mahi, look at there. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Never fails, man. Me and Brian always find the weed lines. I'm gonna put leave this guy in the water real quick. This is a little trick. If you leave him in the water, maybe all his buddies will come out. Oh, Brian's got one, too. That makes a great bait, too, guys. I'm not gonna keep him. If, if I was going, like, way offshore today, it makes a really, really good bait. We're not gonna keep this guy, though. There's also other fish under here. Oh yeah, I'm on. Look, there's all kind of little jacks and stuff. Oh, he's off. Look at all this grass, guys. This is always a good uh, idea to stop on this stuff because it's just such a great habitat for bait and there's always gonna be, well, I, I just hung the grass, but there's always going to be fish around it of some sort. Mahi, we've caught cobia. There's mahi all over you, Brian. Look at all of them right there. 
Little ones? Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of them. They're not that small. Look at them. Man, what a bu bunch Ooh. of fish. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, dude. There's a nice one right here. There he is. I think I got a good one on. Here. No, we got that was the one I just threw. Gosh, man, it is so clear. Like, you could see everything out here. We are bound to run into a big fish at some point. Gigantic Skolamahi. Yeah. Oh, I'm on big ones. Get, get you a, oh my gosh, I'm tangled around my tip and there's a huge school of mahi and I'm going to miss them right here if I don't. They're going that way, kind of behind the boat, this way. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. That didn't take long. Yeah, that's a good fish. I would get, oh, that's a nice one, man. That's the nicest one we've caught in a while. There you go, Brian. You got a good one. You got a good one. Look at oh, there. That's, that's a good one, dude. Oh, oh no, Lisa, hurry up and get it. Oh, man, that's one of the... Look at the school of mahi down there, guys. All pretty nice ones. This is wild. Brian's got a real nice one. So, baby, are you untangled? Yeah, Look at this, guys. This is insane if we could get some underwater footage of this, huh? Yeah. Oh, woo <laughs> You, you got him. Here. There you go. He's too big for the net. There he is. You got him. Nice. This is one of the biggest schools of mahi I've seen in a long time. That's a pretty one there, man. These are real big, big super chickens. So what I want to do while they're still here is I want to keep them here. Look at that, look at them, look at them. Oh my gosh, that is insane how they're acting. There's one real big one. The, the real big, oh my gosh, that wasn't the big one, but he's all right. Look at that, oh my goodness, he's off, he's off. No, no, I want the big one. That's not the one I want. Yeah, I got this. Oh my gosh, hurry and get a live bait, Brian. There's a giant. Hurry and get a live bait. Absolute monster. I'm keeping my bait in the water. Huge mahi right here, guys. Biggest one I've seen all year. This is a go right to the right out here. Absolute beast. Right here. Just anywhere out here to the uh, he may have left. So that's the problem. Right here, Brian, here's the big one. He's out front. He's out front. He's out front. Oh I got him. I got him. Oh my gosh. He ate the Yozuri. I got a decent one on the Yozuri. Leave it right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, he ain't, he ain't, Brian, you're on. You're on with the big one. No, he's off, he got your bait. Guys, there is a beast right here. And I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get the little ones to quit eating my dang yos. And that, they're not little. There, he came off, sweet. It's every cast. It's every single cast, but I can't get the giant. He's right in front of the boat. Hurry, Brian, right here. I'm gonna leave. He's right by mine, right there. I don't know if he'll see it. He's going down deeper now. Dang it. Look at that. That is wild. I've already had him on once and he's gonna come back right here. Yeah. He ate, he, he ate your bait, he ate your bait. He took it off? Yeah, he did, he took it off. No. 
Yeah, and he's he's shying away. We need a live bait. Man. Oh, I got him. I got him. Monster. I got a monster. I got an absolute monster. Biggest one we've ever hooked on this boat. Brian, look at that. We're going to have to follow him. He's going under the grass. So if uh There he is, right there. I'm gonna get you one. All right. We have got one big mic. Brian, you could gaff him right now. Lisa, you hurry. You get gaff him. Look at that. There's a. That's a stud, man, right here on the. He's barely hooked, too. I mean, hurry. He's barely hooked, guys. Good. He's barely hooked is the problem. Big cow. You think I should come under him or over the top? Uh, go right over the top and hit him if you can. Nope. Right there, right there, right there. You got him. Nice. <laughs> Oh, oh no, no, dude! Crap! Ooh. Did we just? Did he just fall off the gaff? Here, I'm gonna gaff him right here. Uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Guys, check that out right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That was insane action because a school of probably, I don't know, how many, 50? Oh, at least. Nice, yeah, yeah. 50 big, to 100. Big, all them. nice ones came up and there was one big in the middle of them and we kept losing them. I don't, we kept pulling hooks and eating our baits off and finally I got him on that Yozuri. He even fell off the gaff once. That is wild. <laughs> Look, they're still there though. We weren't really prepared because we hadn't seen one that big all year. And he was just right in the middle of that big school and he hammered this Yozuri right here. This is a Yozuri Crystal Minnow. And uh, man, he annihilated this bait. So what I'm gonna do is take this Yozuri and chunk it back out and we're gonna see if we can get them back up to the boat. Oh, I'm already on. Look at them, they want the Yozuri. Look at how they're acting. It's insane how they're acting towards this Yozuri, man. He, uh, look at the big one though. God, look at the big one. There's another big one right there. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna try to get them here. Look at them, look how they act towards it. They love the Yozuri, man. I couldn't even, I was going to try to reel it away from them, and I couldn't. This is just so much fun, guys. So much fun. I'm going to try to get him to come off. <laughs> Those guys are just so fun, man. I could sit and ride these weed lines all day and do this light tackle action. And then you luck up and run over a big one like that, you know? I'm taking a lunch break right now. Melanie was gonna go with us, but instead she made me some chicken salad. She makes the best chicken salad in the world. And I'm not biased. We just made it back to the dock here and we're gonna go clean up some fish. Look at that big bad boy right there. That may be my PB cow. In fact, I think it probably is. Man, what a trip. <laughs> that was that was one of the most intense 10 minutes of fishing that we've had this entire year. And usually I don't get like overly excited because like I said, I used to be a guide and I've seen about everything that, that happens out there. But man, a school of mahi like that, that gets me excited. You know what I'm saying?
Anyways, let's cook this fish up, all right? I'm gonna heat this pan up real quick. We're gonna do some grapeseed oil, keep it a little less smoky. We're just gonna have us a little pan fried mahi, nothing special. Here guys, there's nothing better than fresh mahi mahi. And you can do so much with mahi. You can make tacos with them. You can pan fry them, you can, uh, you can deep fry them. Sound like the dude off Forrest Gump, man. Boiled shrimp, fried shrimp, baked shrimp. Man, we had shrimp cocktail, shrimp po' boys. It's so cool what we get to do though. We get to go out, we get to catch mahi back at the house at noon, cook this bad boy up for lunch. I mean, how fresh does it get, man? That was a really cool day, and I can tell you that right now. That was one of the coolest days I've had in a while. I'm gonna throw this big stick of butter on there too. Why not? Because everybody likes butter. Into it. She's getting hot and ready. Pizza, pizza! We're gonna put that big mahi filet. Woo! I would say so. A little blackened mahi today, maybe. Man, that's looking good. That is looking good. Put this bad boy on the plate. And that, my friends, is a nice mahi filet right there. I'm gonna throw some lemon juice on this bad boy first here. I'm a big fan of, <coughs> man, it's smoky in the house. <coughs> big fan of lemon juice on the, uh, the mahi here. Sorry for smoking up the house, babe. I like my fish super rare on the inside. Mmm. That might be some of the freshest tasting fish I've ever had on this channel. <coughs> Holy. <coughs> it is so smoky in this house. Cayenne pepper combined with grapeseed oil and I'm coughing. Alright. <coughs> I give this a, uh, I give this an 8.3 out of 10. All day long. That's got a bone too, man. Mmm. That's a bone. I didn't want to swallow a bone. All right. Mmm. It's another bone. I must have been into a rib cage. Nonetheless, man, that's some delicious fish, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I gotta say, I really appreciate you guys subscribing to this channel. It means a lot to me. It's what inspires me to go out there and keep making these videos, man. So, big thumbs up for that, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, Turn those notifications on. <coughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm coughing, man. I can't stop the smoke. It's like, whoa, this is black, almost blackened fish. Turn those notifications <coughs> on and shoot me a thumbs up. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great week.